kids, I am the number one, and I am riding one of my dragons. Today, I'm going to learn about fractions. I already know a little, but it has been a while, so can you help me learn about fractions? Great! Thank you for your help. Let's go learn about fractions. Here we have a circle, and this represents one whole. We have one whole circle. A fraction represents parts of a whole. So if I divided this circle into four parts, each of these parts are a fraction of the whole circle. We can see fractions in several ways, like with pictures or numbers. You might remember what the fractions look like. Here we have a fraction that is one-fourth. In a fraction, the top number is the numerator, and the bottom number is the denominator. We have four parts to this circle, and that is why the denominator shows four, because it shows all the parts of the whole circle. One part of the circle is now colored green. The numerator shows the one green part, which is a part of the whole circle. So this fraction shows that one of the four parts is green. Now that we have refreshed our minds, let's look at fractions and equations. Now we are going to learn more about how fractions represent the parts to a whole. We will do this by building equations to match the pictures. We have a circle here that is divided into equal parts. Can you tell me how many parts there are? Correct, there are three parts to the whole circle. So to make a fraction out of this circle, what will the denominator be? Correct again, the denominator will be three since there are three parts that make up the whole circle. Now that we have the denominator, let's find out how many parts of the circle are pink. Well, we just have one part that is pink, so we put a one in the numerator. We just made a fraction that shows how many parts are pink. One third of the circle is pink. Awesome job! We are now going to create an equation by adding the fraction of the blue parts of the circle with the fraction of the pink part of the circle. What is the denominator for the blue parts of the circle? The answer is 3 because the denominator is always the total amount of parts that make up the whole, and there are three parts. Now to get the numerator, we need to count how many blue parts there are. There are two blue parts of the circle. So we can now say that two-thirds of the circle is blue. Great job! So what happens when we add the fractions together? You may have not learned this yet, but you will soon. When we add the two fractions together, we get the whole shape. We get three parts out of three parts, or one whole. The numerators got added together and the denominator stayed the same. This stuff is awesome! I wish I had more time to go over more, but I've got to get going. Join me next time. We'll see you later. Goodbye!